Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. Another gorgeous day. We've had a, quite a heat snap, so today's a little bit cooler and it feels great. Uh, my sister's coming from Malaysia tonight, so I have been busy cleaning up the house a little bit, so it's a little bit more presentable. Just a little bit. <laughs> she doesn't care if it's dirty. She's coming to see me. So anyway, I haven't had a chance to get in my studio today, and I am itching to get there. So what we're going to play with today is the pop-up in our book. Okay, as you guys know, I have several books going, so this is just one of the examples of the pop-up. Uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to prepare the page, and I've been playing with some fun bubbles. I don't even know if they're in this book. Here's another pop-up. So you can see how that pops up. This is an acetate page, which I haven't finished yet. Can you see the acetate window in that page? So that's the same technique as your screen. So you have a couple of pages, and then two pages, one page, and then two pages, and now we're getting off track. So anyway, if you want to put an acetate uh, picture in your book, go back to the screen technique and use your acetate uh, print instead of the screen. Okay, little bunny trail there got right off the track very quickly. So um, we're going to prepare our pages with some bubbles today. Okay, and that will be in preparation for our pop-up. So that'll be kind of fun. All right, I'll see you on the table. All right, welcome back. Uh, I have one of my books in front of me that I'm going to be working on. What you'll need in preparation for the pocket page, um, just the first step, is Mod Podge and uh, Black Gesso. And your book, and a brush, and some paper towel for your brush. Okay? And what we're going to do first is we're going to glue some pages together. We're going to need four groupings. Okay? So two pages. I'm going to use this one on the back of the holes because I don't like to see the holes. So two pages glued together, two pages glued together, two pages glued together, and then two pages glued together. Okay, so you're going to end up actually with four pages, but each page is going to have two pages in it for stability. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and Mod Podge this because I like to cover up the holes that I've made for the pockets on the previous page. All right, pick that page up. And now we've got two together. together and I'm going to glue the next two together and then the next two together okay you don't need to watch me do that so I'm going to release you for a minute while I finish that see you in a minute all right we're back so I have two pages glued together oh here let's start here this is where the holes were okay so two pages glued together two pages glued together this is the center two pages glued together and two pages glued together. I actually did three because the spine is pretty in pretty uh, sad shape here so I put three together. So you have this is your center so you've got pages glued together on this side and this side breaking them up in the center. Okay. Now we're going to go in for the black gesso and we're going to paint the centers and then the front of these pages. Those are the only pages that are going to be visible when we do our um, pop-up. Okay? So if you were to number the pages 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you would be painting 1, 3, 4, and 6. Okie dokie. So hopefully that makes sense. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the gesso and then I'm going to let you go. 
So I don't know if any of you have worked with the black gesso. It's pretty darn fun. There it is. Woohoo, huh? Alright, so this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to shut the camera off and I'm going to go ahead and paint all the pages. And then if I have the patience, I'm going to let them dry for a bit. And then we'll be back, okay? See you in a couple minutes. Okay, just because I have no patience to wait for that to dry, it's over here drying. Ta-da! Almost there, but not quite. It's warm enough and the fan is on, but still. Alright, so this is the center of our pop-up. Okay, so we have a page on this side and a page on this side. Now what I have done is I took a tube, I actually took a little smaller tube than this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add some bubbles with this. But this is a toilet paper roll. I believe that I used the, um, the paper towel roll. It's a little bit thicker around the edge. And I'm going for a little bit of a thinner look on the bubbles. These are a little bit thick for me around the rim. I have gesso, just some white gesso, just some cheap white gesso. And I make sure I have some in the cap. And then I just dip this in the cap. And then I just put it on the black gesso page. Oh, that's nice. All right, so you'll go around your whole black gesso page and you'll just put some circles on it. All right, this was painted by mistake, no big deal. Can we fit another bubble in there? We'll put a bubble there. All right, now when that dries, what you will need next is, oh, I'll show you this too. I cut the end of the toilet paper roll so that it's got like a notch. I don't know quite how to show you that. There we go. This is the notch. All right, and I'm going to use that in the bubble. So one end I use for painting the circle and the other end I use for the little uh, line in the bubble. We'll get to that. All right, now what you're going to need are some gelatos. Have you played with gelatos yet? Oh, if you haven't, they're so much fun. So you'll need three colors of gelatos. I'm going to choose pink, green, and gold for now. We'll see what happens. I love the blue, too. Hmm. All right, we'll use these three for now. And you'll go into your bubble. I'm going to start off with the pink. Now this guy is still wet because I just put him down. So I'm going to try to avoid him. But I'm going to go in with the gelato. A little bit of moisture so that it blends. And just do it around the little edge of the bubble. And I'm going to do it with pink on all of these guys. Except for the wet one. Hopefully I'll remember not to do him. Alright, just go in and smudge it on each bubble. And you'll do that to all the bubbles here and all the bubbles uh, throughout your pages. Oh, this guy didn't have a lid on him. We shall see how that is. I'm going to go in with a little bit of green. You know how the bubbles pick up the different colors. It makes them so fun. Alright, I'm just going to work on these three right now, kind of show you what they're looking like. Alright, you can kind of see the color there. Now I'm going to go in with a gold color and just add a little bit more color 
to our bubble. All right, after you get them all gelatoed with three colors, I am going to pick up my toilet paper roll that has the notch. I'm going to go back to my lid of gesso and I'm going to just pick up a little bit of paint there and I am going to go uh, in the area where the gelato is. Pretty cool, huh? So do that in all your bubbles and then we will come back and make our pop-up, okay? Oh my goodness, so much fun. All right, see you in a few minutes. All right, we ready to go on? So this is my first page of bubbles. Here's my second page of bubbles. And here's my third page of bubbles. I ended up using more colors, purple, pink, blue, green, and gold. So those were the colors that I ended up using. And then I just took my paper, my toilet paper roll, and I put some uh, little highlights on the bubbles, a little bit more sporadically than I did at first. That's how we learn. We learn as we go, or at least this girl does. <clears throat> All right, next you're going to need your picture. All right, so I chose a picture from some Tim Holtz cards. You can use a postcard, anything that has some uh, durability to it because it is going to open, uh, fold, open, fold, open. So it needs something that's a little bit more sturdy per se than just a, um, something out of a magazine, okay? What you're gonna do is in the middle section, you're gonna lay your card down where you want it so that that center is in the, in the center fold, okay? And then I'm going to mark it, and since I'm working on black, I'm going to mark it with the white pen, just at the edge of that, okay? And same goes on the other side. All right, now I am going to fold my book back to this line and it looks like I'd have to fold it quite a bit. I am going to actually choose to uh, to tear it there. Oh, last minute decision. So I'm going to go along that white line and I'm just going to tear that page out. It's a two page. Make sure you don't grab too many pages. That would be disastrous. And on the other side, as you can see, it's extremely straight, precise as all of my mixed media work is. Very precise. Tongue in cheek. Only grab the page that you want to tear. Okay. Hang on to these because you'll use them in another project down the road. All right, because they're great. So set those aside. We are going to go back to our picture here, and it's going to need flaps. So with some uh, cardboard, I usually use like cereal boxes and things like that. You're going to make some flaps that are about the same length, same length as the um, postcard or picture that you're using, and about an inch wide. Mine are a little bit bigger than an inch wide, okay? And you're going to tape them down. You're going to tape them to the, f to the flap, but you need some wiggle room in there, okay? Because this is going to go behind that part I just tore. So it needs a little bit of wiggle room between there, all right? I'm just going to use some scotch tape, but I have used uh, the black duct tape, which I am madly in love with. So let me tape these up, and then we'll come back, okay? All right, you guys still with me? <laughs> A lot of steps in this, I know. So here's a pop-up page. All right. So this was two pages glued together, two pages glued together, two pages glued together. I folded these back. 
all right, which I decided to tear in the book that we're working on together. Here's my postcard, and here's the tape along the, the edge with the wiggle room with the flap glued on the inside. All right, I've chosen to do it a little bit differently. Who likes to do things twice exactly the same? Not this girl. So uh, anyway, that's one way to do it, like that. Uh, I wonder where I put my book. Mm -hmm. I set it aside. Oh, no, it's the same book. Oh, my goodness. Losing my head. All right. So back in here, what I chose to do, instead of gluing these things down, is I went in with my Crocodile 2 on the smaller hole, and I punched three holes here and three holes here on each end. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take some thread, and I'm just going to sew these together. thought that would be kind of fun to do that. All right, let me get these guys sewn together and then we'll uh, install our pop-up, okay? Patience! Welcome back. Yep, that was fun. <laughs> so I just took a needle with a big eye and some thread, uh, probably like a floss, and, uh, and I just tied the ends together. I happen to like that. That looks pretty cool. Oh, it looks like I missed one. Um, I kind of drag you guys along on my process. Uh, you know, we've made a few videos together now, and I don't know if I'm doing a better job at uh, dragging you along or <laughs> or making it harder for you but I'm dragging you along while I experiment and so that is kind of fun you know I, I teach and so when I um, teach this these techniques to my I hate to call them students because they're my teachers too but when I teach these techniques to them my playmates uh, I watch what they struggle with, and then I try to alter it uh, before I do the video. Not that they uh, struggled with this process. They haven't even made the bubbles yet, so that'll be fun. Well, that's down the road. All right, here is my postcard, all right? And I uh, taped the flaps on, gave it some wiggle room, all right, and that is going to go in here. And to make sure that that is nice and glued in there, I am going to use uh, tacky glue. Come on, can you go? I oh, know. Da 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 da. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put tacky glue on the inside of the flaps. Now if I can get it back out. It's in there well. Alright, so this being the inside of the flap because this is going to be glued onto the inside of this pocket. Alright, so here's my image. I'm going to put glue on this side of the flaps. Alright, like that. And I'm going to grab my tacky glue. Did I already tell you my image was from Tim Holtz? Tim Holtz makes the, the postcards. I don't know if they're still available. He's pretty good about keeping things fresh. And then on this side. And then I'm just going to stick it in those pockets with any luck at all. Make sure my image is going the correct way. Position it where I want it. And then glue it down. 
and ta-da! Now what I will do uh, from here for my own comfort is I will put some ephemera in here and I will doodle. Okay, uh, this page, this way, yeah. This page I uh, cut holes in a two-page piece, of course, for uh, dur durability. And then there, this was two pages as well, and I ripped this, so I have a pocket here. And I have put some ephemera on. I'm not done putting the ephemera on. But this is a fun little window appearance where I could put the, the people behind that. So I will finish putting ephemera on here and doodling. I'm going to go back to our little pop-up. Isn't that amazing? So you can glue this whole pocket down if you would like. It doesn't matter. You can glue that whole pocket down. I'm going to choose to put some things in there. So we are moving right along, learning lots together. Uh, when I finish this book, I will uh, make a video of the finished book. I still have some fun pages that I can work on. But uh, we've had some fun together. It's been great. All right, I apologize it took me so long to make this video. Um, I've been visiting family, and family's been visiting me. So, go create, go play, go have fun. And most importantly, subscribe to my channel, okay? I need a thousand subscribers before I will be picked up by any sponsors. And I'm at a precious little 71 right now. So, subscribe to the channel. If you would like to show me some of your uh, progress in your books, which I would love to see, please email an image to me, and I will leave my email in a comment below this video. All right, enough from me. Go play.